mostly what we have seen is that uh, children who come from forces background end up considering forces as a career choice for them what made you choose journalism as a career choice so when we were very small one of my dad's cousins was a news anchor on doordarshan my grandfather this is in patiala when we go for our holidays would ensure that everybody dropped whatever they were doing they got around the television set and we had to listen to him my dad was in the army and we used to travel every one or two years so it's the entire spectrum, spectrum. Yeah. from government schools and kendra vidyalayas on the one side to convents and these boarding schools i think that was the perfect groundwork for what i did because you meet so many different people so when you see all these cultures meet all these people it's like you've spent 12 years preparing to be a journalist and which is why if you see so many journalists editors anchors are actually children of army officers yeah and then my dad was an author so he yeah. was a columnist yeah. a writer a thinker a strategist so we were surrounded by books journals so i grew up reading uh writing my dad was a fantastic public speaker so he used to be a compare a host for a lot of these army events social evenings he used to be the host for all of them and i used to sit in the audience and, and admire watch him, him and yeah. you know people used to clap and they would come up and tell him how great he was or how well he did and again when you're a child you're very impressionable Absolutely. so you see that you see uh you know how people react to what your dad does and that again left a very deep mark so when i got out of school i got through to a couple of uh, colleges but i never wanted to study anything else except journalism so i was i think in the 10th standard uh, teacher told me why don't you go and participate in this debate and i said no uh, she said no it will help you develop your public speaking skills i said my whole life i'll be doing this <laughs>